Well, hey families at Eternal, we are days away from the relaunch of Compass Kids on Sunday morning and we are so excited about it. And we wanted to share a few details to help you get ready for this Sunday. There's a lot of changes coming our way this weekend. And we want to walk you through them so you know what to expect starting from the moment you get out of the car. For families who have children participating in Compass Kids, whether that's nursery or preschool, kindergarten, elementary, wherever your kids are going, if they're going to check into the program, then we need you to enter the YMCA by the front doors. That's right, not the side doors like we used to do BC before COVID. Now we're going to be entering the front doors of the YMCA and after everything's all said and done on Sunday mornings you're gonna exit out of the side doors because we have two services and two groups of people coming and going from the YMCA we think this is a great way to minimize uh, kind of congestion in the hallways and help everybody feel comfortable while they are inside the building at the YMCA we'll have friendly volunteers with big smiles standing behind some safety glass at the counter and they will check you in on the computer you won't have to touch a single thing they're going to ask you a couple of questions like have you seen anybody in your house had a fever a cough or a runny nose in the last 24 hours have you been around anybody that's tested positive for COVID-19 you know the usual and then they're gonna ask do you have any questions do you need any help to navigate some of the new changes in Compass Kids that morning now once you get checked in this is where things are going to be a little different than before because depending on the age of your child you might be going to a different room we're going to have a consolidated nursery a consolidated preschool and a consolidated elementary space upstairs every child in compass kids is going to be dropped off prior to the worship service on a sunday morning and you're going to want to get there a little bit early so that your kid can get checked in and where they're going to go because now children are going to be worshiping in all of their rooms throughout the morning um, including elementary this has been going on for a while for our preschool but now elementary is going to have their own worship service in their room at the start of the morning so kids that are participating in compass kids are not going to come into the gym at the ymca they're going to start in their classrooms and end in their classrooms each and every sunday now, like I said, you're going to want to come early because our classrooms and ministry spaces do have a capacity. We have reduced the capacities of our classrooms down to half of what we were running before COVID. That looks different in each classroom, but the main thing you need to know is show up early to be sure that there's space for you. So I want to invite you to visit our website, eternalchurch.net slash returning safely and at that website you'll be able to see all of the things we're putting in to place across the board like volunteers wearing masks kids washing their hands throughout the morning now maybe your family isn't ready to come back in person yet and we totally understand and just so you know we are committed to continuing helping you disciple your children at home so be sure that you tune in to our ministry partners at sunday at home on YouTube so that you can continue to receive those great videos and worship instructions as well as uh, a handout for parents to walk through the story of the morning with their kids. But we hope you will come back. We're excited to launch this Sunday. We have two great series that are taken off this Sunday morning for our um, first look kids, that is our preschool and under kids. They are starting a September series called Ice Cream Sunday, and it's all about how many pieces fit together to make something special. And to understand that, looking at the life of Joseph and all the different parts of his life that fit together to create the story that God was writing in his life. For our elementary students will be in a series called Block Party where everybody's invited and it's a special look at friendship and how important it is not only to have great friends but to be a great friend and what that looks like inside of the church community as well. Tons of big things are happening this weekend and throughout the month and we hope that your family will join us. We're committed to what we've always been committed to and that is creating a safe place where every family can come and experience the joy of following Jesus. So won't you come and let's experience that joy together this weekend.